what you will witness in the following results from Overwatch 2 is an almost perfectly linear performance scaling with the pixel rate of the Terrascale 2 video cards we use for testing. This makes Overwatch 2 a game that is very friendly with low performance hardware regardless of its age, as long as they have DirectX 11 hardware support. The game's minimum system requirements list the budget Kepler based GTX 650 and any of the GCN based HD 7000 series, be it the HD 7750 or the HD 7770. But in today's video, we'll test the game with an even older GPU architecture. Meet what I like to call the TerraScale 2 family. The HD5870 as the flagship of the HD5000 series, and yes, I am ignoring the dual GPU cards. The HD6850 and HD5770, representing two cards from the mid-range, albeit at different performance levels. And the HD6670, the budget-friendly card. The test system consists of the Z230 workstation using the i7-4770 equivalent Xeon and 32GB of DDR3 RAM running in dual channel at 1600MHz. The test run consists of a run through the basic training mission, and while in-game FPS may be a bit lower than that, the results we got here are good enough to gauge how a card performs. Now, activate your tactical As mentioned in the introduction, the game scales very well with the performance of the rasterizing stage, so we will not get any surprises like we had with Dying Light. At 1080 and lower settings, but 100% render scale, the XFX variant of the 5870 leads the pack with 111 FPS on average and 88 FPS for the 1% lows. The HD 6850 and HD 5770 follow, with averages of 85 FPS and 55 FPS respectively and 66 FPS and 42 FPS respectively for the 1% lows. The HD6670 manages only single player frame rates with 37 on average and 29 FPS for the 1% lows. Now, where is she? Wait for me. Hiya. At 1600x900, Frame rates will increase and the HD5770 finally breaks above the 60 FPS for both average and 1% lows. The HD6670 is still not in the multiplayer realm of frame rates, with an average of 50 FPS and 1% lows of 41 FPS. The HD6850 goes above 100 FPS on average and the 5870 reaches 144 FPS. The 1% lows are around 80% of the average value for a very consistent frame delivery. Let me get you something a little more challenging. Nice shooting. Enemies like these training bots are marked for the Reducing the resolution even more to 720 has the budget card rich multiplayer adequate frame rates at 71 FPS on average and 57 FPS for the 1% lows. The 5770 and 6850 reach averages of 104 FPS and 150 FPS respectively. As for the old 2009 flagship, its average crept up to almost 200 FPS. What is remarkable is that the 1% lows remained in the same 75% to 80% of the average FPS. The review of the 5770 pointed out that the minimum requirements listed for Overwatch 2 should not be taken at literal. There are plenty of DirectX 11 video cards out there that can play the game just fine. Excellent. For more contents on TerraScale 2 video cards, consider checking out the playlist that's on your screen right now. As for this video, well, we're done. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.